With the decentralized nature of blockchains, cryptocurrencies, and other distributed technologies, it's important to have a process whereby participants can come to an agreement on data values and the state of the network. Known as consensus mechanisms, most blockchains and cryptocurrencies utilize either proof-of-work or proof-of-stake. There's a project out there using both however. They're capitalizing on the strengths of these consensus mechanisms and limiting exposure to the weaknesses. Derived from Bitcoin, Decred is a unique blockchain network, and in today's video, we're examining everything you need to know about this exciting project. Welcome to Crypto Sketch 101. We're the number one go-to spot for all things crypto, and we're glad you've stopped by. If you love cryptos as much as we do, please give this video a like, and be sure to subscribe to our channel. In today's video, we're taking a close look at Decred. We'll examine everything you need to know about the project including why it was developed, the problems it hopes to address, and its unique hybrid consensus mechanism model. There's a lot to cover, so let's get into it. Decred, short for Decentralized Credit, was founded in February of 2016. As early enthusiasts of Bitcoin, its founders sought to address what they believed to be a few shortcomings with the world's first cryptocurrency. The first of which is centralization. Bitcoin, which utilizes the proof-of-work consensus mechanism, relies on miners to use powerful computers to mine new Bitcoins and bring them into circulation. Specific computers, known as application-specific integrated circuits, are able to mine Bitcoin faster and more efficiently. Miners utilizing these types of machines are able to outcompete those with less efficient computers. The result is large, centralized mining pools. The second issue is scalability. Blockchain scalability is the ability of a platform to handle an increase in transactions and is typically measured in transactions per second. Bitcoin, for all its popularity, is extremely slow, especially when compared to some of the newer blockchain networks. Whereas Bitcoin can only handle roughly 5 to 7 transactions per second, other networks can handle thousands or even tens of thousands of transactions per second. Seeking to address these issues, Decred's founders created what is known as a Bitcoin fork. In other words, they built Decred's network using Bitcoin's original code, but with a few modifications to address the issues of centralization and scalability. Perhaps the most notable of Decred's modifications is its hybrid consensus mechanism. With Decred's hybrid model, proof-of-work miners validate transactions while proof-of-stake participants propose and vote on network upgrades. A key difference between the proof-of-work model utilized by Bitcoin and the one used by the Decred network is that rewards are distributed across all members of the Decred ecosystem. This means that rewards are split between miners, stakeholders, and the Decred treasury which is used to fund the ecosystem. With Bitcoin, proof-of-work miners received 100% of the rewards. Decred's reward model reduces concentrations of influence or centralization. Decred's original allocation split saw that proof-of-work validators received 60% of the rewards while proof-of-stake stakeholders received 30% and the Decred treasury received 10%. In February of 2022 a consensus change was voted on and passed, changing the split to a 10% allocation to proof-of-work validators, 80% split to proof-of-stake stakeholders, and the Decred treasury allocation remaining unchanged at 10%. To address transaction speeds, Decred has two features that help to speed the network. The first is the ability for transactions to be cancelled. Users can input an expiration time on a transaction if they would like, and if a transaction has not been included after a certain number of blocks, then it will be rejected. Allowing transactions to be cancelled can free up the network some, improving speeds. Secondly, Decred's use of the Lightning Network allows for the settlement of payments off-chain. In doing so, network congestion is greatly reduced and transaction processing speeds improve. There is an added security benefit to Decred's use of a hybrid consensus mechanism as well. In order for a malicious hacker to take control of the Decred network, they would need to essentially execute a 51% attack twice. They would need to capture 51% of the mining power and take control of 51% of the Decred voting tickets, a process we will discuss shortly. Capturing 51% of the mining power of large networks is already incredibly difficult. Adding an extra element of having to also capture 51% of the voting tickets means that overtaking the network would be virtually impossible. 
The proof-of-stake component to Decred's hybrid consensus model is primarily focused on network governance. Once an individual stakes DCR coins, they can participate in Decred's community governance. This means being able to create and enforce blockchain consensus rules, take part in decisions that impact future development, and take part in determining how the Decred Treasury will finance initiatives. A unique framework is used to administer the governance process and reward stakers for participating in it. Every DCR coin that is staked is locked in Decred's protocol and represents a vote. For every ticket that they hold, stakers can cast a single vote. Each ticket is then called upon to vote and on average, it takes 28 days for a ticket to vote. At times though, it can take up to 142 days. The stakeholder then receives a small reward and the return of the ticket price, or the locked funds, once a ticket has been used to vote. In order for a vote to be cast however, the stakeholder's wallet must be online 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If the ticket is called and the wallet is not online, then the ticket will be marked as missed and the stakeholder will not receive a reward. In 2018, the Politia proposal system was introduced to the Decred protocol. Politia facilitates the submission of potential policy changes and upgrades. It encourages new ideas from all those involved with the blockchain and also guides the Decred treasury on policies and spending. Up until 2018, the Decred Treasury was largely an autonomous entity. It had very little community involvement, and funds were largely spent without their consultation. With the introduction of Politia however, the broader community, in particular the stakers, were given significantly more involvement. The Decred Treasury is responsible for paying those that help maintain the Decred ecosystem including contractors and other parties, and is funded by the 10% of all block rewards allocated from proof-of-work miners. Being as it was originally forked from Bitcoin, some may wonder how Decred compares to the original cryptocurrency. A few of these differences, we've already mentioned. Though both use proof-of-work consensus, the main difference between Bitcoin miners and Decred miners is that Bitcoin miners receive 100% of the rewards. With Decred's new allocation model, miners only receive 10% of the rewards. In terms of market capitalization, there really is no comparison. Bitcoin has always been at the top and in November of 2021 saw its market cap soar above $1 trillion. Decred's height was just north of $3 billion. Prices are dramatically different as well. Currently, Bitcoin's all-time high reached over $68,000 with Decred barely peaking over $250. Like Bitcoin however, Decred has a maximum supply of 21 million coins, meaning only 21 million coins of each of the cryptocurrencies will ever be created. When it comes to block time, or the amount of time it takes to create a new block on the blockchain, Decred takes only about 5 minutes while Bitcoin takes about 10. Though Bitcoin and Decred do share a few similarities, it's clear that they are more different than alike. And that's all that we have for today's video. We hope you got a good understanding of Decred's aim to address some of Bitcoin's shortcomings and the unique hybrid consensus mechanism model it utilizes. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for joining and we'll catch you in the next video.